William Hill sponsors Martin versus Joshua on Sky Sports Box Office. Radio Raheem here with Jamie McDonald, uh, Bantamweight champion. You know, you're one of the few people bringing a belt into the ring on Saturday night. And not only are you a defending champion, but you're facing a guy that you didn't expect to be facing in Fernando Vargas. Dealing with that kind of um, development late, late before the fight begins, how do you make that adjustment? Is that something that concerns you? It don't concern me, no. Um, all the training's done. You know, to be fair, we haven't really had a name pinned down for the last three or four weeks, so we're kind of training blind. Um, you know, so we've covered all aspects uh, for whoever turns up on the night, and you know, we know what this kid's about. He comes forward, he can fight, he can dig a bit. He's had a great win in his last fight, you know, so he's going to be confident. But you know, I've trained really hard, and I'm looking to put on a performance Saturday night. You know, uh, as far as world titles go. We've got one on the line in the heavyweight bout, but really, you're the guy coming in with the other one. You feel like you might be able to steal the show Saturday night? Definitely, that's what I'm looking to do. Put on a performance, look good, uh, and move on. You know, the Bantamweight division is one that doesn't get a lot of attention unless somebody's really making noise there. You could be that guy. What do you think it takes to bring the spotlight down in the weight divisions and get the fans to focus on what's happening in, you know, Bantamweight? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, I had two great fights in America. Uh, beat uh, Tomoki Kameda, you know, undefeated prospect, you know, he had the WBO world title. And, you know, and I went out there and beat him twice, you know, and that's just, you know, that's just getting the recognition, you know, it deserves. Uh, it's getting my name out there, you know, and just to be in great fights, big fights, you know, what, you know, make the, the general public notice, uh, you know, me at a bantamweight. So hopefully, you know, just keep doing what I'm doing, uh, notching the wins, uh, you know, and we move on. Are there any fights out there that you're targeting? Obviously, you're not looking past Saturday night. you got to do your business. But once that happens, if you are victorious, you know, you guys have to have a roadmap. Can you can you shine a little light on that for us? Yeah, obviously, you, you look at fights, you know. You don't look past the fight, but you obviously you've got to look past it a little bit. Um, we have Piano, the super champion. That'll be out in the States um, probably summertime. So uh, beat this kid, there's that fight. But there's always a domestic dust-up with Lee Askins. He's the IBF world champion. Uh, it's another big fight, great fight. Um, you know, so I'll get this fight won and we sit down uh, and we see what uh, path we choose. You know, I'm well beyond a Bantamweight and you're damn near standing eye to eye with me. You're a pretty big Bantamweight, man. How, does that advantage you in there? Do you feel like, you, you feel big in there? I do, yeah. You, you feel like you can overpower him, you know. I'm very tall for the weight, you know, so for someone, you know, short to get near me, they're going to have to do, I don't know what they're going to have to do. Uh, that's why, you know, I'm undefeated as a champion, but uh, like I say, I feel a million dollars and uh, looking forward to putting on a real good display. Those fans who are maybe buying a ticket for Anthony Joshua and uh, want to see him win that title, and uh, we'll see you earlier in the night. When that bell rings, when your fight's over, what are they going to be saying about you? They're going to be saying, you know, this kid's a real deal. Uh, obviously, the kid's coming in at late notice, but he's a good quality kid. Uh, you know, and I'm hopefully going to dust him off with ease. <laughs> you feel like you, you feel like you're building an American fan base, like you said. You had a, you had a couple of big fights out there. Maybe building a following where you're going to be jumping back and forth across the ponds. Hopefully, you know, uh, yeah, that's that's the life you want. You want to be fighting in America. You know, spend as much time as you can out there. Stood here talking to you. I feel like I'm back out there, you know, fighting. <laughs> but uh, it's great, and as long as I'm winning, I'm happy. But you know, to fight in America, you know, it makes it even more worthwhile. Well, this fight's going to be at the O2 Arena here in London. It'll be on TV, though, worldwide. So don't miss Jamie McDonald on Saturday night at the O2 Arena on Sky Sports, brought to you by William Hill. Good luck, Jamie. We'll see you Saturday night. Cheers.